Welcome to Star Citizen. This is Shadow Coast, and in this video series, we're going to be talking about how to get started in Star Citizen. Off the bat, I do not purport to be a Star Citizen expert. There are much more experienced players out there. But having watched a lot of their videos, I found it very difficult trying to pick Star Citizen back up. Now, I have been a backer for over three years, but in full transparency, the game was barely playable for most of those three years. But I'm going to give it another shot, and I've found over the last couple days of playing that this game is much more playable in its current state. And I thought I'd share some advice in my journey on how I got started and what I think would be helpful for you to get started. So we are going to load in. Um, I will be running graphics on the second highest setting. Uh, Ultra, unfortunately, my main gaming rig cannot handle it. Uh, but the graphics should be pretty good, and I will be recording in the highest resolution possible. Um, for those who might be watching on Twitch, I'll be video streaming uh, this guide as I record it, um, and then posting to YouTube. So, for those just beginning, uh, once you load, you will be able to pick where you start. Now, we picked New Babbage. Um, so we're going to be starting from New Babbage. Now, uh, for any starting player, you could, I think, pick um, from several key locations. Po Port Olisar is also a common one, but we're going to start with New Babbage. And I'll actually post a video on starting in Port Olisar. Off the bat, just some very basics. By holding F, it allows you to interact with the environment. So opening and closing doors, uh, if you hold down F um, and then kind of zoom into that area and click it, uh, that will open or allow you to interact with different entities. So um, you're going to want to start there. To get out of bed, I personally click E. I think you might be able to click F uh, to start. Now for this series, I will be playing with a keyboard or mouse. So if you do have a joystick, that's awesome. Um, I do recommend it if, if you enjoy playing flight games with that. Um, but I will be playing on keyboard and mouse. So I'll be referencing the default command keys and telling you if I am assigning or reassigning any keys. All right, so once you wake up, you're going to want to exit your hab. And in New Babbage, uh, you, regardless of what side you run to, run towards the center and head to this elevator. So we're going to hold F and click Call Elevator. Um, this game is a, I guess, simulator, although uh, I think they purport to be much more than that uh, but I, I definitely enjoy it although it is not perfect by any means even in this build uh, enter the elevator and then again hold F and here you can see we can't see lobby so the way that I'm able to change the floors is actually using the middle scroll button on my mouse to scroll up and down to select my options so I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on the lobby here so it's selected and we will head down to the lobby uh, entering the lobby, we will exit, and we're going to see some NPCs here sitting around. Uh, we are in the Nest Apartments. Seems pretty swanky. New Babbage is a major city. The first thing we're going to want to do, starting Star Citizen, is head over and retrieve our ship. So to do that, we're going to head over. Now, you could come out these elevator banks, so just look for the major opening and run through it. And as you run through it, head over here to the MT Metro Loop. Star Citizen um, has a lot of signs and can be very confusing to get from point A to point B. So what I recommend is if you're having trouble, take a beat and look at signs. Um, the way you can zoom in here is I'm holding F and I'm using middle mouse button to zoom in to be able to read it since sometimes text is small. So if you hold F and then you scroll in, you can actually zoom in a little bit. The other thing that sometimes people have trouble with is that they walk slowly. Uh, when you're not holding F and you're just randomly moving use, using the WASD controls, um, scroll up on your mouse wheel and that will set your speed. So when I scroll down, you can see all of a sudden I start walking. When I scroll up, I s increase my speed. So we're going to go down and around and what we're going to do is we're going to take the metro to the spaceport. 
So here you can see we have the metro loop and there are two metros. Uh, the one to the left will take us to the new Babbage spaceport. We're going to want to head there because we're going to want to run out some basic missions to make money to buy some critical gear for later on in our journey. So get into the appropriate metro. Um, and this one, when you enter, if you go to the left, that will take you up front. I do recommend running to the front. Um, part of the thing I do like about Star Citizen is that there's a lot of detail uh, placed on the game. I'm not sure if that's why it's taking forever to release. And I will wholly admit that I do believe the company producing this game and developing this game is uh, poorly managed. Um, but that's my personal opinion. I won't get into that. Um, I just am going to enjoy the game uh, and outline some helpful things that I found to hopefully help you in your journey. So we are now taking the Metro Loop over to the new Babbage spaceport where we will be picking up our ship. Now I'm recording this uh, during coronavirus so hopefully all of you are safe, uh, but I'm recording this as of June 2020. Um, so we are in the latest available build. Uh, or per PTU or persistent universe for reference and I'll post a video sh highlighting some of the major changes that have recently come out so you can see here we saw the big city you can see snow one thing I would note is do not go outside until you buy gear that is weather appropriate in New Babbage you will freeze to death uh, I think you could last out there for about five to ten minutes um, wearing the basic stuff. So we're going to head over here, head out and exit the, the metro and head to the left. Now this is where it can get confusing. So pay attention if you want to get to the spaceport. So we're going to walk through here and we're going to head to some elevators. So we're actually going to need to take the elevator up uh, since the metro is underground to the spaceport. So here there are only two options, MBIS so this is the new Babbage Interstellar uh, Spaceport or Terminal. Uh, we're going to head up there and then exit. Now it says pull open in emergency. So far the elevators have not uh, got stuck in there, but again, reading signs is critical. So as you exit, again, you could take either elevator bank, head to the opening. And there's going to be a little bit of navigating here. Uh, so we're going to head down and around. Um, we're going to head between either one of these doors. It doesn't really matter. And then we're going to swing a left. And again, paying attention to signs, we're going to head to security, the security checkpoint. Now, one thing that you'll notice here is in the top left here where my cursor is, you're going to see this little bullet with a, a no sign. We are in an area where we cannot use weapons. Uh, even if we wanted to. Um, so we're in a safe area. We're going to run through this hallway, up the stairs, and you can go either right or left. It doesn't matter. But this is the uh, new Babbage. I believe it's Interstellar uh, Spaceport. So yes, new Babbage Interstellar Spaceport. So when we up run up and around um, to the right once we're facing this direction this is the hangar and this is where we're going to be picking up our ship one thing that i will point out to the left there are ship rentals we are not going to screw around with ship rentals until we farm out enough money to rent a ship that is going to allow us to do other cooler things for even more money um, we will he head to the hangar i just want to make a note here one of the best things that I love about Star Citizen is that there's just a lot to explore. So take your time, explore. I mentioned that you should not go outside until you have the appropriate gear. I made this mistake. Um, if you wanted to, you could call an elevator to go to the surface. We're not going to do that because we don't have the gear. And I think dying within the first five minutes of kind of starting our new beginner's guide is probably not going to get us off on the right foot. Um, I have actually not explored back here. I don't think you can go back there, but feel free to explore. Uh, we're actually going to head over to the hangar and open up our ship and take on our first mission. So head over here. Now the way you retrieve your ship is from one of these vehicle retrieval consoles. So holding F 
with the left mouse button you click to interact which hopefully I said you can see here I have two ships now I uh, actually have three ships uh, one of these ships is bugged uh, which sometimes happens so this one is not a real ship um, it's not gonna let me file a claim it just kind of freaks out uh, and that's okay because we don't need it so the reason I wanted to highlight that is that this game is very much an alpha and still is bug ridden and it can be extremely frustrating um, but if you bear with it there are lots of hidden gems here that I think that you will enjoy or at least I enjoy now in this case I actually have the freelancer they do sometimes provide you an extra ship uh, the freelancer is better than the Mustang that's the package that I purchased so click on uh, retrieve the ship and what it's gonna do is it's gonna tell you the hangar number so wait to see this now I'm gonna let go of F I'm just gonna back up away from it it's at hangar 3 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to the elevator so these are the elevators in the hangar section and I'm gonna click on one we're gonna click on one that's different from that other guy there because we don't want to go to his uh, yeah we're gonna we're gonna hop in this elevator and again holding F we're gonna go to hangar 3 I'm pretty sure that's what it said so we're gonna click on it again holding F and clicking left mouse button now in this guide I'm gonna outline every single thing I do I'm not going to edit it um, just so you know I'm not sure what that guy's doing he's being weird Anyways, this is our ship, the Freelancer. It is a, I believe, light exploration vessel, kind of jack of all trades. It is a two-seater or multi-person ship. Um, one of the things I do recommend is take time to check out ships. Um, if you talk in chat, you can hang out with other people who spend way more money than I have on getting even nicer ships, and it's nice to explore. So on the Freelancer, the way we enter it is we're going to hold F and run up to the back and then click open door and we will open door. It actually has a rear turret uh, which is helpful um, in many cases. Now I always close the rear before I take off. It should auto close um, but I don't like to run the risk. We can explore the ship. There's some interesting things to do on it. Um, this is just another cargo area. Uh, we do have um, some sleeping quarters here if we wanted to take a nap we can uh, lay down on one of the bunks but we're actually going to head over to the cockpit and we're going to hold F and click enter pilot seat so whenever I'm running around and you see something highlighted and you see the cursor moving I'm holding down F uh, so I'll keep saying that a few times but hopefully you'll kind of pick up on it uh, and, and learn the ropes all right to turn on your ship click r and that's going to power on your ship now before you take off if you're on a landing pad you can just hold spacebar and lift right off we are not in a landing pad we are in a hangar and as you can see in the hangar and i'm going to hold f to look around um we can't just fly out the doors are closed so the way we open the the, the doors there are two options one option is if you hold F, you're going to have different me menus, and every ship's going to have menus. Some of them have more options than others. This one's a bigger ship, so you can see we have a bunch of panels here. Um, by holding F, I'm actually using the mouse wheel to scroll in. If you click menu here, you're going to have some options, and if you click on comms, you can bring up um, New Babbage International Spaceport. The other option you have, which we have not done yet, is clicking F1. So we're going to click F1. And by clicking F1, that's going to open up what we call the Moby Glass. Now, unfortunately, uh, we are hopefully not glitched out here. Again, I'm going to show you everything, so bear with me. Um, this happens to me when I kind of boot up the first time where it sometimes freezes, but then you can see it actually worked. Uh, the Moby Glass is basically our... Um, control panel to living in the star citizen universe it has everything in here it has the map it has all our contracts or objectives um, it has our ability to edit equipment and gear as well as our ships uh, this is where we go to refuel our ships and repair our ships basically everything is in the moby glass and again you click f1 to open the moby glass 
Um, and you can see here, it also has our vitals. It has our oxygen, um, power output, all this stuff. So opening the Moby Glass, you can come over here to Comlink. This is the LR option. If you click on Friends, the spaceports will always be there. We're going to hail the spaceport here. Um, and this, by hailing the spaceport, we're effectively asking them to open the doors, which they just did. Conversely, we could have clicked, if we zoom in, we could have clicked this little button. It would have done the same thing. And that's it. Now, if you click F4, that's going to actually bring you out. So we're going to take off. We're going to wait for the doors to open. And to take off, we are going to gently push and hold spacebar. Now, watch your mouse. You can see here, I move my mouse. The ship's going to move. And again, you gently tap it. And we're going to gently tap W to move forward. And that is right. We have exited the hangar. Um, we are going to hold spacebar to elevate. And then we are going to shoot into the sky and exit the atmosphere. Now, if you click N, so the N key... You're going to see that retracts your landing gears, which you're going to want to do. Now, holding left shift is the boost. You can see that on there. We're going to head back into the ship and outline some critical things here. Uh, on the left here, right here, you can see my cursor. This is our speed gauge and is going to tell us how fast we're going. So right now we're at 44 uh, kilometers per hour, which is pretty slow. And you can see here, there's this little bar that's capping us. The way you change that bar is the scroll wheel. So you see this scroll wheel, I'm increasing it. And this bar now is lifted. I am setting the rate limiter on how fast I can go. So I'm going to set it a lot higher. I'm actually gonna max it out and I'm gonna click shift. Now you can see here in the red, <laughs> that means my engines are starting to overheat. And we're in the atmosphere, so the rate or level that my engines overheat is going to be different depending on the environment I'm in. And, oh, nope, we want to keep going right into space, uh, which we will do here. And you can see here the, um, yeah, I'm overheating. The ALT there on the left side, that's my altitude. Now here's a cool thing we can do. If you click C, it's going to put that little arrow over here on the rate limiter and my ship will try to go that speed. Now certain speeds it's gonna max out at and if I boost, I can get higher. But for whatever reason, right, every ship's gonna have a maximum speed based on the propulsion system you've installed. So for us, right, it's 250 um, on this bigger ship. Uh, other ships, smaller ship, like the Mustang you saw that I had is much faster from that perspective. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to click C, and we're actually going to let this uh, kind of decrease. And we're just going to take a look at the planet that we just came from, New Babbage, down here. Um, so we are now um, in or exited the atmosphere. We have to get to 10,000 before we can engage the quantum drive, which we're going to talk about. So great we're in our ship we're in space but now what's there to do there's a lot to do in star citizen but we're going to start off with the very basics that can be infuriating but it's important to learn the basics and by taking on these types of missions you're going to learn how to fly your ship how to navigate the universe or the star citizen universe um, as well as make a little bit of dough to help you purchase some needed gear so we're going to click F1. Again, F1, the Moby Glass here, is the key to our life in Star Citizen. And down here, we're going to come to Contract Manager. There are a bunch of different types of contracts we can run out. And you can see here, right, we have Deliveries, Investigation, Bounty Hunter, Mercenary. We have Personal Missions. These are for us to take on. Excuse me, just taking a sip of water. Um, these will change over time. Accepted missions are ones contracts we've taken on. Histories are ones that we've completed. And then we have beacons. Um, we can set beacons. I recommend doing this um, later on, but we're not going to do anything complicated. So we're going to go over to general. And I do recommend starting off with a delivery mission. So we have a bunch of options here. And what you're going to notice in Star Citizen is that nothing's easy. This is like, like a simulator in real life. 
Um, and that can be very frustrating at times, but it's part of the, the charm of the game. So we are going to go through each contract and what we're going to look for is where do we need to deliver it? Where is a drop off location? Where's a pickup location? And what we're going to look for here is something that is close to us. And I'll, I'll tell you how you figure that out here in a minute. Um, this one's nice because we just came from New Babbage. So we need to pick something up from her L5 and bring it to New Babbage. But we're going to keep looking here for a minute. So CRU L5. Um, ooh, this is the one we want. The shipment is waiting for collection at Port Trelsler above Microtech. Uh, New Babbage is in Microtech, so this one is the one we're going to want. And this is the one that I recommend that you... Oh, no. Oh, no. There it, there it is. There it is. Because contracts keep getting added. So we're going to accept this offer. Contract. Now, you can accept multiple contracts at once. So let's just take a look. Are there any other ones at Port Trelsler? And I could be butchering the name. Uh, because sometimes they have two uh, uh, very similar missions that are at the same piece so we have our mission in accepted you can untrack but in this case we're going to click track and there we have it now this is a very low paying job uh, unfortunately so there will be the factor of looking at missions and seeing how much they pay out like this one's 8,000 which is nice but um, the shipment is waiting for collection at Shubin mining facility on Microtech, and then we have to go to Yella. That's kind of further out. So we're gonna take the basics. We have the one. I do recommend you kind of wait for this one for your starting mission just to make it easy on you. Okay, we have our mission. We have to go to Port Trussler, um, and then we're gonna have to drop it off on a landing pad in New Babbage. So we have it tracked. We're gonna go over to here, which is the skyline. Now, when you open the skyline, it's probably going to look like this. We don't see anything. Is it bugged? It is not. It is just zoomed in. So to zoom out and make this uh, map useful, scroll back on the scroll wheel with mouse, and all of a sudden, it's going to put us in context. If you keep scrolling, you're going to open up the Star Citizen universe. This is it, so, as it is presently. Look at all these planets and areas to go. And within each planet, in each area, there are moons that you can travel to. And then even within, um, you know, as we get closer, there's even more stuff you can fly to. So these could be bases, satellites, all this stuff type of stuff. So there is so much to do, uh, but we are going to start off small. The way to zoom in, uh, so you're going to have to figure out map movement. If you hold the left mouse key down, you can kind of rotate it around. And if you double click on a planet or area, uh, it'll kind of zoom in. So we're going to double click, and then we're going to use a mouse wheel to scroll in further. And you can see here, this is where we need to pick it up. We need to go to Port Tressler. So we're going to set route. So we're going to click on it and then set route. You can click set route a couple of times and that will be helpful because now we're going to click F1 to exit in our ship. We now have a beacon uh, or not a beacon, but a, a helpful director. Now it will tell you where to pick it up in general, but I always recommend sent setting routes, especially for longer missions where you might need multiple jumps. Uh, it just makes it easy. So we're going to enter Quantum Drive because to travel there would probably take us a while because we go 250, uh, 250 kilometers per hour, right? We don't want to wait that long. So we can actually use what we call the Quantum Drive or Quantum Travel, I believe. To engage uh, QT, which we're going to call it here, click B. And what B is going to do, it's going to spool up our Quantum Drive. And you can see on the left here, it takes a little while to calibrate. Once it's done calibrating, hold down B for a second, and then you can let go. And it's going to engage it, and it's going to quantum travel us to Port Chrysler. And you can see here, uh, that was a lot faster than if we were traveling. So we are going to head to Port Chrysler and land, pick up the package, and then deliver it back to New Babbage. 
and again I'm going to show you every step along the way right now you could tell um, as we go in space the speed of our ship increases because there's less resistance right and I often ask what makes Star Citizen so revolutionary so amazing why why is it taking forever for them to come out it's because they're trying to make this fairly realistic and in doing so um, there are lots of different factors so resistance and drag when you're flying through atmosphere they try to factor that in they do a lot so we are going to click X a little bit X is the kind of space break it helps uh, we don't want to come in too too quick and we're actually going to kind of reorient ourselves and slow down now how do we land do not just pick a spot and land because they will impound your ship and then you have to pay a ridiculous fine so how do we get a landing pad it's actually simple uh, you have two options here if you have the comms open we can click this button here which is port trestler conversely we can click f1 we'll click on our comm link go over to friends and then click port trestler and we will hail them and they just assigned us a landing bay which is that little wrench so we're going to head over now the landing bays can be or landing pads can sometimes be confusing so what I recommend you do is uh, take a look uh, first in your ship now when you exit your ship or when you go to when you click F4 excuse me not exit but when you click F4 for the third uh, person perspective um, that can be that can be tough because if when we do that we can't really see any of the markers so always make sure that you know where you're landing and you can see here I had to do a barrel roll now I click spacebar to go up WASD to kind of orientate my ship and then control will send me down so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the third person perspective I know this is my landing bay uh, if I if I landed in the wrong one they would impound my vehicle or my ship and then I have to pay a fine and I'm gonna click in and use Q and E to kind of rotate left and right to make sure you're kind of even um, I would let go of the mouse once you're once you're orientated um, you could click shift to delink the mouse right shift but we'll get into that a little bit later for more complex landing pads and then gently hold control left control to go down and so we're just going to ease into it and you can see here we've landed now I'm going to bring F to bring me into the ship and one thing that I do recommend that you do is over here you turn the engines off or conversely you could just turn off um, the power now to exit I click Y it's gonna exit my seat um, you could click uh, you know if you hold F depending on the ship uh, smaller ships you can directly exit now we are going to head in and grab the package Gonna lower this door. Now, Star Citizen is full of awesome people. It's also full of trolls. We're going to close our ship up because if we left it open, if someone came to our landing pad, they literally could run into our ship and steal it. And that would suck. Now, we don't lose it permanently, at least not at this point in time. And we could file a claim and then have to wait anywhere uh, from 10 to 15 minutes for the ship to come. So we're going to enter Port Tressler. So run into this little bay. It's going to be orange. It's going to be pretty clearly marked. Um, I don't remember what landing bay I'm on. So we might want to take a look. I actually can't tell. Uh, keep clear. I'm not sure. But we will figure that out later. We're going to run in here. And we're going to again hold F. And call the elevator. These can take um, a little bit more time. Uh, Port Tressler is actually pretty big um, so we're gonna hop in the elevator and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to lobby um, 
I actually don't know what pad we're on. I think we're on a pad because we're not in a hangar. We didn't have to open the door. Now in the bottom left here, you see where I'm at 99% of water and 100% oxygen. Oxygen is going to replenish as long as I'm in an area where I can get oxygen um, mo in most cases. Um, water and food does not. And this is actually new uh, that they've added in. All right, so we're going to exit the lobby. And you can see here we have the pickup down there to, to the right. Now, I, it took me a while. Sometimes you have to explore. But to get down there, uh, we're actually going to head through security. So we have to go around. We can't just run directly over there. So we're going to go through security. We're going to hang her right. Uh, run through here. Hang another right. We're going to go right again. We're going to go down these stairs. We're going to open this up. And our pickup is going to be here. So we're they have a bunch of these drop off and pick up, uh, I guess, machines, containers. We're going to click pick up because that's our mission. Now, if we if we did not track this mission, if we clicked on a different mission, we wouldn't be able to pick up this box. So make sure you're tracking the appropriate mission. We have the box. Now, sometimes people walk slowly with the box. Use the scroll wheel and scroll up or forward. So up is forward to me. Um, and that will control your, your movement speed. So we're going to head back to our ship. Um... Oops, got to go this way. I've done this a couple times uh, for test runs. You can tell that I'm pretty poor, though. I think I only have 40,000 AUC. AUEC. What is it? AUEC. Yeah, 45. We're going to go through security again on the left. Now, I don't know what pad my ship's on, so I could hop in an elevator and go from pad to pad. Conversely, I can click here, and it's going to tell me my location's pad 1. So that is helpful. I know I am on pad 1. We're going to call the elevator. We're going to go to... Oh, sometimes it freaks out. Pad 1. And... It does take a little while. We're covering a lot of ground. I know this is a very long video, but um, when I was watching videos, it it was hard for me to kind of figure out what people did because they would jump back and forth. So that's why I'm posting everything. Um, I will do my best to post timestamps to outline it. So we're going to run back to our ship. Um, I should have probably flew a little closer to the door. And I probably should have swung around. Uh, so how you land can can help reduce travel time. And we're not going to make a lot from this one. But you know what? Starting small is always good. Going to run up here. Uh, close the door. Now here's the deal. We're going to... It's okay to drop our container. Uh-oh. I made a I made a huge mistake. So we're gonna post everything. I must have clicked F and dropped it. Which can happen. Or it could have bugged out. So luckily the elevator's still here. Let's head to the lobby. These things happen, they can be frustrating because it takes time. Um, you know, patience is a virtue, but again, it's kind of how you want to spend your time. Um, this game is not completely polished, but it still has a lot to offer. And we will be getting into more complicated stuff. Um, and we'll even take on some outlaw 
uh, runs with a, a few friends uh, to show you just all that Star Citizen has to offer. So unfortunately, it looks like uh, we dropped it right here. So I'm going to pick it back up. Make sure you're carrying it. Sometimes um, if you accidentally click a button, it'll it'll drop uh, if you click F or something. So I'm actually glad I made that mistake, just highlighting what could happen to you. And hopefully no one seals our freelancer. I don't think I closed the gate. Now, when you're, when you're on a server, the server max is, I think, 50 people. And, and the Star Citizen universe as it stands today is actually fairly large. So the probability that somebody is going pad to pad trying to seal someone's ship is relatively low, but it's happened before. And especially when you're on a moon, um, I have been abandoned where I run in to pick up a package and someone was waiting and stole my ship and they, for whatever reason, didn't have a ship or blew up their ship. And that, that was super frustrating. All right, so we actually have the box. We're just gonna, we're going, we're going to actually, if we hold F and then look down, we could drop or place it. Um, I am going to place it right here because that looks like a good spot to me. And boom, we have the package. Let's head back to New Babbage and figure out where this landing pad is. Now, this mission uh, can be very confusing because it took me forever to figure this out. Um, on, So we're going to click R, power up. We're going to go third person perspective and I'm holding space bar but nothing's happening and that's because I have to turn my engines on so sometimes we just have to make sure that everything's turned on so we are going to hold space and take off we're gonna click N and we're going to actually move away from the station because we don't want to collide with it. You will, you can collide and, and blow yourself up. And that would not be helpful. Because then we'd have to spawn and do everything over again. Now, I could set a course using my Moby Glass. Or I could click B. And see, it automatically grabs New Babbage. The challenge with this is that we know there's nothing between us and New Babbage. Just because we're so close. But if you're traveling further, always set a route because you could lock onto something that's on the way there or a little bit to the left or right of it and it could take you in the absolute wrong direction. So setting a course effectively reduces that because you can see that you're then on the course. Now, one of the things I mentioned is that it's important to read the contract because it tells you exactly what you need to do drop off location it will need to be delivered to a landing pad locker in new babbage so landing pad lockers in new babbage are actually not in the city you can fly right up to them so you can see here we have um, the delivery uh, drop off spot marked on our our point there it's in blue uh, new babbage is very cold i did mention that before you go outside you're going to want appropriate gear i am going to break my golden rule of being well prepared with the right gear and make this delivery even though i don't have the right gear and i'll show you what i mean here in a minute so we're going to fly right towards this thing um we don't want to come in too hot uh, just because we, we could then crash into the ground. Here, we'll, we can do a little perspective. That can be a little bit, you know, dangerous flying straight in. Um, we're going to actually bleed off a little bit of, of speed here. Uh, we're going to click N to lower our landing gear. And we're going to come in a little slower. And um, I 
You can see it's that kind of third tower down there. It looks like, uh, I'm pretty sure. So I'm actually going to, I am using the thrusters a little bit, uh, just to speed up the process. All right, now I am fairly confident that's, that's the landing pad right there, right in front of us, right here. And so because of that, I'm gonna go here and um, we're going to even out. So I'm moving my space or my mouse just to angle properly. And now I'm holding control. And by holding control, uh, we're going to slowly lower ourselves down. I'm gonna enter here. It does look like that is the right landing pad up here. And Q and E kind of rotates us side to side. We needed to roll from enemy fire, that's helpful, but also positioning. And we're going to come in nice and slow. If you come in too fast, your ship will take damage and then you will have to pay to repair that. So we're going to come in nice and slow. Nice and slow. Kind of even out, clicking Q and E to make sure we're rotated correctly. And gently tapping. Gonna go forward a little bit. Gently tapping con left control and we're down. I'm gonna click F to bring me back in, Y to exit my seat. And we're gonna run and make our first delivery. So let's uh, hold F, click left click the mouse to pick up. Now watch this. I told you I didn't have the right gear. The drop off's right there. Look at my bottom left. My temperature is dropping and I have 17 minutes to survive in this environment. Look at how cold it is out. So we're gonna run up here. We're gonna run inside. We're going to then click drop off. Another one of these um, package machines and once I'm inside and the door closes I'm okay we're gonna hold F and then left click place and it will automatically close and in the top here you're gonna see objective complete delivered to a landing pad locker in new Babbage and you can see here our AUEC just got updated for the amount of our delivery so that's that our first mission down um, I will note that this is not somewhere you can leave your ship um, you this is not a, a approved spaceport um, they won't impound your your vehicle um, or ship here uh, but it's also kind of useless to to leave here so what we're actually gonna do is head back to the spaceport and see how we actually land uh, in New Babbage, just so you know how to not only leave, but also come back. So we're gonna sit down in our seat, F and then click. We're gonna click R to power on. We're gonna take a um, external view, hold space bar to lift off. Um, we're gonna click N, that's gonna actually retract our our landing gear and you can see that the metro down there to the right that is a spaceport in front of us um, the reason you can tell is it has some red lights there may be an external it has those red lights um, and then it has some of those white lights uh, that is the spaceport so you need to head over there Oop. oh system overheated and it got automatically shut down from permanent damage. Now this is a bigger ship, so in atmosphere, it sucks to be quite frank. Like the bigger your ship is, the less likely you're going to want to be landing in on you know planets with atmosphere. 
moons and stuff aren't too bad just because there there isn't as much of an atmosphere so there's less friction so remember that we need to open up our comms so I'm holding F and clicking and we have MB in spaceport so that's the new Babbage interstellar spaceport so we're gonna hail them you can see that going on to the, the right there now you're gonna see here that they assigned us a landing bay but we don't see the wrench which can be very frustrating and that is because we are not close enough we actually have to get within a certain proximity for the landing bay to become clear so all of a sudden right there literally right in front of us that wrench just popped up uh, because of the proximity uh, so we will head towards it and again it is important that you land in your landing bay or hangar or you will be impounded and have to pay a fine to obtain your ship so we're gonna come in we're gonna set the limiter down a little bit we don't want to come in too hot the limiter is nice just because especially if you take on this kind of viewpoint uh, you know that you're not gonna all of a sudden accelerate it to a ridiculous level so the, this is a hangar that we have to go into. We're going to take this view. We're going to click N to deploy our landing gear. And we're going to ease in, tapping WASD, and then Q and E to rotate as needed to make sure we're lined up. Space bar is up. Con left control is down. So we're going to get in to the hangar. It's going to be a little more um, clear. It's a little bit foggy out there because of the snow. Um, it is snowing. It does snow a lot. And we're going to actually let go of the mouse. So, oh, well, we're going to make sure our mouse is aligned straight. Uh, we're going to even out. And we're going to kind of come in and gently tap left control until we are down. F. Uh, we could turn off our ship. Um, another option is holding F. If you look to the right, you can then click exit. That also works. I click Y just because it's faster. And we are in New Babbage um, officially now. So we're just gonna recap how to get to the Metro. And in the next episode, we're gonna be talking about purchasing gear and items uh, that we're going to want to do. So uh, we're just gonna close this. Again, likelihood of them coming and sealing our ship is relatively low. Um, I feel a lot safer when we have hangers and stuff because if if you were to try to steal someone's ship, I actually don't know if they can open the hangar or not. I haven't actually scienced that yet, but I can try. Um, but uh, nevertheless, it's always good to kind of lock up. Uh, we're going to head over here where it says Landing Bay Arrivals. Um, up here, you can see we're in Terminal 3. Um, so landing arrivals and we're gonna head over to the left and we're in hangar bay uh, one and this is our exit point so we're gonna hold f left click the call elevator button so i like this because it tells us where we are we know we're in hangar one if we had to pick something up and come back uh, after a certain time they will again so we're gonna go to mbis terminal Make sure we click that. Um, after a while, they do, they will store our ship and we will have to come to this console and retrieve it again. Um, so it's not going to just sit in hangar one and definitely they will put it away. And we are back where we started. To get down to the metro loop, we're going to go down to the left and through customs we're gonna still stick to the left walk through this scan gate um, oops sorry head through here and yeah, we are going to call the elevator oh there we go I actually did call it just in beep and go to the metro loop
All right, so head over to the left. And we are going to head over back to where we started. So we are full circle. And I think it still goes forward this way. Pretty sure. Could be wrong. I think it's a. Oh, I'm wrong. I am wrong. Um, goes back and forth. Because there are two sides here. So you see that detail, right? When we came over, we were on the right track. Going back, or, and going back, we are on, again, a right track uh, from our perspective, but the left track, or the other track. Um, just fun to watch. And look at that. Look at the city. It is cold out there. You guys saw, I think it was like negative 100 degrees Celsius or something insane. Um, even even colder than that to be honest um, but this is new Babbage a sprawling city on microtech thanks for for spending some time with us hopefully this was helpful again I'm trying to put together a soup to nuts beginner guide and, and outline exactly what I'm doing in detail versus editing the, the core parts so you can see at length exactly the steps I take. We're going to exit um, and head over here and we will be seeing hopefully a familiar sight on where we started. Again we're going to come back around this loop and you run through here remember the three feathers and we are back at the nest uh, we could take an elevator up and we don't have a room I, I don't know if we can well we can science it you guys want to bear with me let's see if we can just open up any room I'm not actually sure that's that's how it works but let's uh let's go to the 10th floor see if we can get a nice little view and uh, let's see if we can steal a room up there. So we are moving. <laughs> Top floor, look at that detail, look at that view. I was hoping for a better view than that. Look at that on Microtech. Um, it looks like... Yeah, it's not gonna let me... I am clicking, but nothing's happening. Um, so, I don't know if we can go downstairs and talk to somebody and get a room, but... Uh, yeah! Thanks for joining us. As always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Please comment call things out that I could be doing better or if you think I'm doing anything wrong. And as always, I appreciate a subscribe. Thanks for spending some time with us and we will catch you in the next episode.